Ladies and gentlemen, hello, all five of you. I'm McLevels here, welcome back. Life is Strange, Chapter 5, starts now. Ish. Okay, now. Previously on Life is Strange. What did you find? Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. We can't trust anybody except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! <sighs> Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Max? Victoria has to be next. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh! No! Chloe! Look how! What the fuck? not here. I wasn't talking because I was expecting cinematic shenanigans here. Where? The dark room. The creepy sex dungeon, not the dark room. Alright, before I forget, sorry, I didn't want to do this last time, but I remember that my... Um, where is it? Level of detail. These always get reset every single time, <laughs> and I don't know why, but... Firm. Do it. Go. Okay. Nothing happened. All right. We're in the creepy sex dungeon. Is anybody out there? Please help. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Uh, left hand. <sighs> detach left hand. Uh, help! detach. Somebody help me! What is that? Detach right foot. 
It's like a crazy game of Twister. Use your use your mouth. These straps are hurt. Um, there's a syringe. I can't see my white mouse on the white floor. I can't see anything. All right, let me just struggle futilely um, a little bit more. Oh, that one did it. Finally, I'm free. Um, you're really Almost. bad at this whole murder thing. You'd think after doing it for like, you know, five or six times, you'd get the hang of it. But no. Should we look at the picture first? What is it? I hate looking at myself like that. Oh. You'll pay for this, Jefferson. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, what are we looking at? God, oh, syringe? I don't remember anything that happened. I remember. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Yes, many questions about the whole Nate and Mr. Jefferson thing going on here. Are they in cahoots? Do people still say cahoots? I don't know. What am I supposed to do here? All I can do is look at things. How do I... Can I detach my foot again? Nope. Look at the photo I again. I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh. Oh boy. This again. I... I have strong opinions about this whole not going back in time thing because last time I did this uh she I last time I it took me forever to get this as well but there we go did I get it no um she said she told Chloe like don't count on me using my powers to get you out of a jam and then Chloe straight up shot Frank in the face spoiler alert Frank is dead and then later on, like, I had to use my time thing to, um... Oh, there we go. To, like, solve a puzzle. And I was, like, Ugh! It really kind of messed with me. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. No vanity or posing, just pure expression. Oh, Christ. Look at that perfect face. Hold that stare there! Stay still! Oh, Max! You fucked up my shot! But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. Wait. Let me try this angle. Him in the balls. Don't move. Oh. <sighs> Much better. Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows. And an eye for a whole lot more, as his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. Oh, good. Oh, those eyes. It's just too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really should have focused on schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. 
Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed... that Nathan killed her in self-defense. But she had a troubled history like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised. Or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Okay. Now this looks good. Maybe a few more close-ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you oh, down. No. No. <laughs> Now, don't move, or this will hurt much. Stupid bitch! You just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take a shot. This is, uh, this is pretty skeevy here. My indistinguishable oh, folder, Jesus. no! I can't believe that happened. So sick. Okay, so were you remembering that or were you actually out there? Okay, I broke those files when I kicked the trolley. Yes. That doesn't really help me like very to much. Smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Okay. Just to get that out of the way, because I forgot. It's been so long since I've uh, rewound time. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Um, yeah, sure. I can look at them. Can't really do much else. Where do... What do I... No. That picture isn't going to help. Yeah, don't go... And don't go back there. All that again. That's bad times. I won't. Whoa. I I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. Okay. This might work. <sighs> Please work. I really don't like this... A, D, left mouse button, right mouse button thing, because I don't, don't get it. Apparently I got it. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes. Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here, replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. 
You're a psychopath. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. Like pure, sweet Kate. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. God, I hate your voice now. You might as well savor it, considering it's the last you'll hear. Oh. <laughs> That struck a nerve. Your face changed color. Beautiful. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Ugh, monologuing villains! I hate him so much. <laughs> Jeez. He's as sick as you. Don't judge people, Max. But that's why Nathan never should have been at Blackwell. Um. Why? What? I'm. Oh, I'm confused. That makes two of you. I help Nathan realize his vision. So few people get that chance. You brainwashed him. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious dark room and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Um... Yeah, why? Why, Rachel? I don't have time to tell you everything. But she was special. A human chameleon, so many visual possibilities. We had a real connection. I kind of was hoping he would say, I don't even have time to tell you why I don't have time to tell you. Or something. Um... Why? None of these questions matter! You're strapped to a chair in a she murder dungeon! Who cares? Rachel was in love with me. That's not my ego. Just look at our sessions. Not that I'll let you. Nobody loved having their picture taken more. Anyway, Rachel is dead. But no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You and your friends almost beat Nathan to death. See, we're not so different. Yes, yes we are. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subject, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't compromise my vision with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here. By your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, 
Let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Oh boy, there's my first content ID match. All right, let's see what's going on here. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. Um, this is purity person. Yeah, sure, okay. I don't, I don't know what we're doing here, but sure, whatever. Okay. No. Wait, please, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Ugh, it's so rapey. Um, do we want to see, I don't want to see the photos. I already see them more later in the future. So what are you, you kids on? Keep your pants on. Let's not what? get crazy here. What are you going to do to me? I'm going to make you live forever in my photographs. That's all that will be left of Maxine Caulfield. They won't even find your bag. Um, okay. Well, that was important enough. Alright, let's skip that and let's go back. Why is my bag significant? I don't understand. No, 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 no. Stop. Stop. Why isn't it stopping? Alright, well then. Okay. Wait. Please, Mr. Jefferson. Max. Okay, we've already seen this. I'm gonna skip this. Um... Why was my bag of significance here? I, I'm kind of curious. I what know the my diary me? thing is I'm going to make auspiciously underlined, but all right. Apparently, my bag is is nothing. All right, let's go back. You better ask him something else. No, I messed up. <laughs> Shoot. All right, how do I do the fast rewind? Rewind faster. Talking, talking, talking. All right, we'll just go straight to the my diary thing. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots I came. I have out. all those photos in my diary. No, 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 no. Come back! Come back! Damn it! I got greedy. I was trying to look at the photos again. Why is so appealing? Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! I'm bad at rewinding time. Okay. Shouldn't I start getting like Wait. a bloody nose and stuff? Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Okay, blah blah blah. We're gonna do my bag. Or my diary. You... You still have my diary. Don't worry. Nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Not if you kill me. Or her. Whatever. Tomato, tomato. Okay, rewind time again. My diary didn't amount to anything. Okay. Wait. Okay, let's, um... Let me go? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Show me the could photos? You, could you show me the photos? That's the first time one of my models down here has asked me that. Of course you would. But I love that the last thing you'll ever see is yourself through my camera eye. Too perfect. Mr. Jefferson is quickly overtaking Chloe as my most hated character in this uh, story here. Were you gonna you ask him something else? Were you gonna show me the pictures, Skeevy dude? 
Oh, I guess technically he hasn't done it yet. Um, now this one. This is purity personified. Ew. Okay. As long as he's not making making those motions, you know. All right, come on, rewind faster. Well, I guess the only thing left to do is ask him to let me go, which okay. is sure to succeed. Please. Right. Let me go. Let me go and I'll help you. Let me help you, please. Don't beg. Never beg. I hate that. Anyway, let's enjoy our final moment before I have to end our memorable session with your death. She, <laughs> she slumps in her chair like the exact same way every single time too. Oh man, what am I supposed to do? I don't understand. Can I just stab him in the face or something? Okay. Okay. There's. Oh, <laughs> now that was scary. Let's see how these shots came. Out. Okay. Let's, wait. Let's, wait. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max. Um. I don't. There's only four choices, and I did all four. Right? What? What are you gonna do to me? Blah blah blah. Space skip. With a heart. I have. You better ask him something else. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. It clearly was not because he didn't really do anything when he said he would show me the photos, but then he just went to his computer to jerk off to my new photos. Okay. Alright, let's try it one more friggin' time here. My diary. You. Skip. So nothing happens. Alone with a heart Wait. My diary's gone. Maybe I was supposed to do this. A heart that needs do I just need to like oh, now this one. This chill out here and listen to this guy kind of blow his wad over my pictures here? What is going on over there? It's like all weird and red. Max. It's like an evil cloud. Don't understand. Maybe it's like an evil villain disco ball or something. I'm not sure. Sorry. This is not art. But that's my fault, Max. How I'll get through God. I wish you had been around back in my day. <laughs> It's so skeevy. I. It seems like I can't. Oh, Jesus! They're freaking frick. There they are. Your eyes are so wide, so lost. Ah, there we go. We're like chain jumping through time. Oh God! I hope Chloe's still dead. I'm a horrible person. <laughs>